Hi everyone and welcome to Web Step tutorial. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this is tutorial about how to export data to Excel sheet with PHP Cognitor framework. So if you are a PHP developer, if you a Cognitor developer, you can use this tutorial to understand how to export data in Excel with PHP or Cognitor. But first, remember, we use a spreadsheet library, which is the next version of PHP Excel library, because it no longer be maintained. Also, make sure you have the requirements for this library and I will make this task very easy to you shortly follow me how this come because if you download the original code and go to localhost spreadsheet symbols you will see this requirement check if one of these is not passed or all of these is not passed check your configuration in localhost and come back to the tutorial before installation let's first see how the script will be in the final open try demo this is table about users details username address email and job now we want to export this as xls file click download and it was downloaded successfully let's open it okay it's worked good let's return it back to the tutorial to learn how to do it first download this code After download finished, undip this folder into XAMPP htdocs or www. Okay, rename it like this. I already set up it here. Okay. now open it in your editor first and before doing anything go to config folder open config.php file and remember to change cognitor demo to cognitor dash php excel then go to your database and create new database as demo then import ci users file into your database demo after this look at controls open PHP Excel file here we see our controller it is very simple first we have index function then 
we have download function. This is all you need, index function and download function. If you go to third party, you have a PHP Excel third party. And to this, we have a spreadsheet folder and two files, autoloader and bootstrap. Put all this into PHP Excel in third party. Now, in index, we get all users and pass it to PHP Excel in the content folder. Let's open in views content PHP Excel. There, it is very simple, straightforward loop loop to users and the brand username user address user email user job as you saw before and we put the link under the table this link point to php excel download function php excel is the controller download is the function now we have download function the first line to get all subscribers or users we use the same function in the index get users if you open it it is a very simple select get all users from CI users and the return result as a result array the second line we require or include the bootstrap file and we put this path from third party PHP Excel and the bootstrap file. Then we create new spreadsheet object from the spreadsheet class. Then we get properties from the file and set the creator was webeasystep.com set the last modified by Ahmed Fakhr set the title PHP Excel Code Igniter Tutorial set subject to integrate Code Igniter with PHP Excel set description this is the first test if we come back to the file let's open it and open the file You may notice this file and there the properties for the file title PHB Excel Code Igniter Tutorial last modified created author webeasystep.com last modified by Ahmad Fakhr. Okay, this is the properties we can change it from here then we create a style array to add the style to the header if you see this header you may notice the style we have a shadow Hold center for all these header attributes font bold true would be executed as bold 
alignment horizontal vertical will be like this here borders top border thin we have a border here if you can't see border you can insert this to see the border you see this this is line is the border on top of the table fill will make it a shadow gradient liner rotation start color you can change it end color you can change it and finally we give this style from the first column to the last column what is a1 and f1 go to the file to show you control z so a is the column one is the first row the first column and the first row the first column is a the last column is f so if we choose this row so I told the library to style this row only start from a1 to f1 after this out of it column to content in the library there is a get column dimension function to get the column and make a calculation after this set auto size is true by the way set auto size function is not accurate now but in the future it will be I put this function in the loop with range from A to F as column ID to give the function the columns without do it manually but you still can do it manually like this a and another one to the other columns b it is your choice but right now I make it like this because sometimes you have many many columns the next step to set active sheet index to zero why to open it like this this is the zero sheet this is the one sheet I set it to the zero sheet and set the cell value with these attributes username name user email user address user job gender here you see this attributes and add some data which come from database I run a for each start from 2 why you remember you have a second to remember yes 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 because we put 
the header right here a1 p1 c1 d1 e1 f1 so i start from the next the next row the first row is for header so loop to data and if i have 1000 column start from there and go to the bottom of the sheet finally i rename the sheet title as you see here users information and export as a full sheet we save the output in the browser you use create writer and pass spreadsheet all these values in the spreadsheet class we make it an object and pass it to the create writer with excel 2007 make sure you save to output and exit to download the file if you want to save it to the server just change this value you also have a full documentation for this library also remember that you can change your file name from header subscriber sheet xlsx okay as you see here it will be here subscriber sheet xls x thank you for watching and see you in another tutorial bye